We got another Beast Handler showcase today, and this one's involving the T-Rex. Now, it's been long enough into the release of the Beast Handler that players have now discovered what the best Beast Power is. Well, at least for this guy here, so let me go ahead and show you why. So if you set the round to anything past round 80, so for example, 81, and then we send a bunch of ceramics, here's how a 32 out of 64 does. It takes two shots to beat ceramics. Looks like almost enough to one-shot them even, but just missing a bit of damage. Now, when we merge a V-Raptor into the T-Rex, we have 40 out of 64. And take a look at how it defends now. Turns the Cerams into yellows, so we're getting close. 41 out of 64 turns into green balloons. And now 42 turns it into blue balloons. But if we add just one more Beast Power to the T-Rex, it now has the ability to just one-shot them. And that's pretty much why 43 is the most optimal beast power to stop at. Kind of goes without saying that taking one shot to be disram is better than two. And the thing is this applies to every round after round 80 because the HP of the Cerams never increase for those who don't know. Here's round 140 ceramics. Just the speed that increases. So for as long as free play exists, T-Rex will nom every Ceram in one bite. And that'll showcase just how powerful a power 43 T-Rex is going to be. Going to jump into a run of another Brick Chimps here. Should be a pretty good map for the Beast Handler because you can just put the Beast on the two curves and you'll be just fine. On top of that, once you merge the Beast, you can obviously uh, micro them so that you can start on the top side and then move at the bottom when things are in danger. So it's going to be a pretty high micro strategy, but I kind of want to see, well, again, if it's viable. To be honest, most things are viable if the map is easy enough on Chimps mode. So I guess it's more of a test to see how difficult it's going to be uh, to pull off a strategy like this. So basically, the strategy is going to be power 43 T-Rexes as our main DPS and uh, support from there. I'm not sure how many of them I can afford, but obviously the most optimal build order it would be uh, one T-Rex for the 16 base, and then four V-Raptors to get you 40, and then three Micro-Raptors. Obviously, the cheapest way would be to just get 40 Tier 1 Micro-Raptors, because that's usually how the efficiency numbers work, but I'm pretty sure they're close enough uh, for the middle path piece that we can get away with using the V-Raptors for the plus 8. But yeah, don't mind me doing a pretty scuffed early game here. Beast Handlers aren't known for their uh, early game prowess, so I gotta drop a bunch of other random crap too. I think we get the ball rolling really soon though. I just got my ad my first Adasaurus up. Now, maybe I shouldn't start off with a Beast Handler round 6 because my Adasaurus is now not in a great spot. You see, it just missed a bunch of crap. Come on. This is close. Thank you. But yeah, the range is so tiny right now. Look how pathetic it is. I think I definitely need at least a V-Raptor to help us out. I'm just going to do a Road Spike. Just save myself the effort. Well, on the bright side, I left out this corner unoccupied, so I guess I can do another Adasaurus over here. That I probably want to merge into the one down here. On a second thought, maybe I'll just have these two as my main beast handler, so don't merge them. It's probably better for that right now, even, because, again, early game is pretty rough. I think we're better off having reliability rather than just straight raw damage. There's a V-Raptor, by the way, and need to at least give it a count pot. Even with the V-Raptor, though, I feel like things are really sus. Yeah, I still got a micro because it's actually fast enough. Actually, I'll just build my second V-Raptor right now. It feels bad upgrading because I would have gotten discount later, so that would have saved me a lot of money, but... <laughs> yeah, no greed today, sir. We just kind of have to show up at early game, and uh, here's where I save money into round 40 because I'm pretty sure I need both of your actors to have intel on the top and bottom. Let me see how close I can get though. Come on. I don't think I one-shot Cerams, right? It's close. Yeah, not enough though. So let's start with the following. We just need another beast hand to touch the range of uh, the one down here. Get it to just one degree. Merge it in and just like that. Bam. So here we go. I'll continue to micro at least one of the raptors like uh, here. Here, here, and come on. Get him. Oh no, that's bad. Well, it looks like adding one power to it actually ruins, or makes it worse because it, instead of turning to blue balloons, it turns into freaking yellows. Well, here's the alternative. We'll merge into the top one instead. And then this one can just be micro to the bottom. So let's see, it's gone now, it's gone. So now I have two V-Raptors cleaning up, which I think is better. Then the alternative, yeah, much easier. All right, Camel Village and another Camp Pot down here. Should be able to set the Camel Propels. If not, maybe we'll need some last minute micro. No, we're good. Good to continue that Beast DL, uh, um, Beast Handler action. I think the plan is clear. Just keep on building Velociraptors. So here's a third one. 
that I'll probably merge the one down here into here at some point, just because this one already has two villages. Might be hard pressed to fit another camel village down here, so I might just use this spot for like, you know, the bonus beast and just give extra range to the ones up here too, if that makes any sense. Actually, I guess what I could do is something like this. Since there's already one beast center giving intel down here, we don't really need any more over here, so we can just continue getting uh, double discounted V Raptors uh, and then merge it into this guy. So now we have 17 out of 24. And let's just get one more up here to turn it into 24 out of 24. And if you guys are, have seen the V Raptor showcase I did not long ago, you should know that max merge V Raptors are pretty goaded. So I can't actually quite say for certain that getting a T Rex would be an upgrade, but. I gotta think so, at least for round 80+. plus. The thing is, before round 80, none of the things I showed at the start of the video applies at all. I think the Max V Raptor itself is already good enough to one-shot Saram, so... Yeah, I think that that's the play. Just keep it at uh, V Raptor until round 80. Once round 81 hits, we start pulling out the 43s. Alright, we got two 24 out of 24s, but even then, it's still kind of sketchy, because I guess chasing it means it's not really getting... Uh, what do you call it? The good radius, so I think it's probably better to keep it close, and I probably should upgrade that third V Raptor at the bottom 24. Alright, so new 24 out of 24. We'll basically just keep them all uh, in this bend here. I'll put two of them at close, and then the one on first should be the one that I micro to the bottom, if I need to, at least. And yeah, take a look now. We are unstoppable. 62, 63, all fine. I guess since I need it late game anyways, I'm also just going to go for a... 0-3 more blue right now. Might as well get it. But yeah, if I want to do some quick maths of how much the uh, 43 T-Rexes cost, well, just one of them alone is already about 15k. And then four V-Raptors, which that if you want to be generous, cost about 3k each, then we're looking at almost 30,000 in total. So these are not that cheap, and I guess that's why I'm stopping at only three of them. That'll be 90k into the three T-Rexes, then. Yeah, 70k for support sounds about right to me. And you see what I mean? We can basically make it all the way to round 80, just with the three V Raptors, and no micro involved, even. I might need for this round, though. These, uh, innards are very spooky. Or oh, not, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna keep riding the wave into 81, just, just to see if we can still keep up. Okay, it's, it's still pretty good. Well, I guess we're gonna keep running with it, then, until we die to something. Maybe Fortifieds? Kinda scary. Yeah, they're starting to leak, alright. I gotta do some micro here. Back up here, back down for the leakers, and uh, come on, just a couple ceramics. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, it takes like four shots for a V Raptor uh, to kill a fortified. That's not very efficient. Let's take it down to two then with the T Rex. So, with that at 33, I need uh, one more V Raptor. That'll get me up to 41, and then just two more individual. I could get an Adasaurus, but this saves a bit of money going for uh, two. Uh, Zero one zeros. So there we have it, 43. I'll, I guess I'll just keep it on close. That probably works for us. And yeah, take a look at the difference here. I still think it's actually not that big of a difference because you need, I think you need more than one T-Rex. You see how sh slow it shoots? Srams just run by uh, in the time frame because yeah, it still takes two shots to kill a fortified. I was strongly considering getting Arctic Wind. Maybe I still should. The thing is I kind of want it down here because that's the main part that's close to the exit, but honestly, why not both? I think I have enough money to do so. We got some leeway here. Like, the thing is, this is not a bad investment either, because the longer I keep it in this spot, or rather, the longer it takes for a balloon to get to the bottom side, and then me requiring to micro uh, the dinos down there, it means more time for the uh, beast hands to do maximum damage at the top here, so... Yeah, it's probably a fine investment. Don't forget about the utility of the stun too, which I'll use right now. Okay, enough goofing around, though. Let's go for uh, our next T-Rex. I'm just going to fill all three of them right now. 41, 42, and 43. And now one more. We're starting to get a little bit full up here. Not just up in here, but also uh, down in here. And also, how are we leaking to... Uh, or just a couple random yellows? That's because I didn't finish off my... Because uh, I still need to fit three more Beast Handlers, I think. To get 43 in the last one. Okay, I can't do it. We'll, we'll just put the last one, then up here. And there it is. 43, 43, and 43. So I think right now I'm, st I'm still gonna leave the two of them on close. And then the one of them on first. Let's get a glue spider too. Then we could use it. Probably even a snowstorm. Yeah, we'll do snowstorm. 
bigger slow radius. But yeah, you see how lovely a degree power 43 is? You barely even see this ramp show up, and they're just gone instantly. Pretty solid stuff, not gonna lie. You could probably also use some more slowdowns or stuns. Like, probably a May Moab, because again, the middle paths get a stun damage bonus, 30%, to be exact. So if I had enough, have enough space here, nice. I get enough time to thread the needle for another uh, 30% here. And I also missed some SRAM, so let me just use the stun. Because I'm lazy to micro. And we're good. At this point, we're just doing a dick measuring contest to see how much money I can end off with, so... I'll probably need some bad damage, like in the form of a first strike, or maybe just a spike storm, because I do have Regi potions. If I want to, like, save cash here. So it's possible we could even end off with, like, 50k plus left over. Let's just see how 95 is first. I will go ahead and uh, stun now. I'll probably need another stun here for the Srams. Yep. Other than that, though, nice and easy. And how about for 96 here? Also nice and easy. Yeah, let me just go ahead and... I'll use the Snowstorm for this one. And then I guess another stun. Bam. The last radius is pretty big. And just like that, after we beat all this here, we will have made it to uh, 50k. Okay, I probably shouldn't have used all three stuns that round, but oh well. It'll be back up in time for 98, right? Uh, right? Uh, oh crap, that's a bad idea. That's not good. I already did a micro very early. Uh, I'll use a snowstorm here then, fine. And then we use a stun to, so that those surrounds are gone. How's that? Uh, how about another stun? Uh, all things are pointing to me requiring more, though. Uh, we'll see if two of them can hold for now. I can't tell what the third one is. Well, either way, we're dead. But again, considering I have so much to spend it on, we can make this ramp very trivial. I mean, for one, we can start with a mall press, put on strong 204. We shall see if that changes anything, and I think it does. Uh, I'll use a stun now, and a snowstorm now, and then another stun now, and I'll do micro for this one. Nice, one shot to kill. And that's crazy how much one mall press can make a difference. Holy. What a cakewalk. And now we're going into 99 with 55k. I really should get my spike storm now, but get some flex in. Okay, so for 99 here, we'll stun early for extra damage, right? Use all of them, because obviously they, they don't do much for uh, round 100 anyways. And uh, just like that, 58,000 left over. I'll spend on a genie. How about two genies? We'll see if that's enough, actually. Yeah, I mean, look at the damage. 4k on each of them. They can probably pop them... By the time we get to the, uh, the, the bend down there. Oh yeah, it's about to blow, it's about to blow. Okay, so quickly. Micro. Micro down here. And micro down here. And we should be able to clean up here. Nice. That's another Brick Chimps with 55k to spare, folks. Easy peasy. Compared to the Velociraptor run I did, much easier for the late game, and on a harder map too, to boot. So yeah, if 43 isn't your favorite number, then it is now. See ya.